For some years now, NASA has been scouring the red planet with the aim of finding even the slightest hint of life. This has been with the help of rovers sent to the planet, and they are still very operational. They have been there for the past few years. However, one rover was sent to Mars in 2021, and it is known as Perseverance. This rover's mission is to purely find any evidence of life on the planet. But what has it found so far? Has it found even the slightest evidence of life? Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will take a look into the new life found on Mars by the Perseverance rover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. It's been a year ever since the Perseverance rover was sent to Mars. This is now the second year, and it should be even more interesting than the first one. The rover, which is about the size of a car, landed inside the red planet's Yezero crater on February 18, 2021. Its main mission was to search for signs of any form of ancient life on Mars as it collected dozens of samples for a future return to Earth. The Yezero Crater, which is about 28 miles wide 45 kilometers, is a great place for the rover to do such work on Mars. The mission team members claim this because it once hosted a big lake and a river delta in the ancient past. Here on Earth, river deltas are said to be great at preserving carbon-containing organic compounds, which are said to be the building blocks of life as we know it, and residues of life itself. Therefore, it is not wrong to assume that Yezero's delta is just like Earth's. This allows Perseverance handlers to explore it. In a video released not long ago, Brian E. Horgan, a Perseverance team member and an associate professor of planetary science at Purdue University, said, for the mission's second year, we are incredibly excited to get to the Delta finally. The Delta in the Yezero crater is the reason we chose the landing site, and we hope to get to it later this spring. Once we're there, we'll be able to look at the bottom of the ancient lake that once filled Yezero to search for signs of ancient microbial life. And we plan to spend the whole next year traveling through the ancient lake deposits and ancient river deposits that are within the Delta. Perseverance is not the only NASA robot that is exploring the Yezero crater. The rover was accompanied by a tiny helicopter called Ingenuity. This helicopter was designed to show that aerial exploration is possible on Mars despite the planet's thin air. Mars's atmosphere is just 1% as dense as Earth's at sea level. Ingenuity took off from Perseverance's belly on April 3rd, and over the next five weeks, the 4-pound, 1.8-kilograms chopper made five pioneering flights. These flights were supported and documented by the rover for posterity. Any communication between Ingenuity and Earth is all routed through Perseverance. After Ingenuity completed its primary mission, it was time for Perseverance to start focusing more exclusively on its own needs. The rover officially began its first science campaign in early June 2021 and attempted to collect its first sample two months later. The first attempt did not go so well. The target rock crumbled beneath Perseverance's percussive drill, and the resulting bits did not make it into the designated titanium tube. However, in early September, the rover managed to bounce back quickly, socking away a core drilled from a rock dubbed Rochette. Since then, Perseverance has built upon its success. It has managed to collect five more rock cores to date. Technically, since the mission team collects a replicate at each site, these six cores constitute just three samples. The atmospheric sample is the sealed tube from the first attempt to take a core that didn't work. According to Horgan, the six cores are said to be taken from rocks that were part of an ancient lava flow. She added, saying that this was interesting because the volcanic rock can precisely be dated in labs on Earth. So, once the samples are brought back to Earth, which could happen sometime in early 2031, scientists may be able to understand Yezero's history and evolution better. A closer look at Yezero's igneous rock shows that they appear to have been altered by interaction with liquid water. This was according to Kevin Hand of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California who is also the co-leader of Perseverance's first science campaign. Given that Yezero was once the host of a body of water as large as Lake Tahoe billions of years ago, this is not at all surprising. However, the finding is important and exciting because 
Water-rock interactions can yield chemical energy that can help potentially give rise to life and power life," Han told Space.com. Talking about life, you may be wondering, has any evidence that is close to the idea of life on Mars been found? Well, the answer is yes and no. Just as we have seen earlier, Perseverance has two main missions. This is to find any signs of ancient life on Mars and collect the material for humanity's first attempt to return the samples. To achieve the latter, the rover is equipped with 43 titanium tubes, six of which, as we have seen, are already sealed. Of these six tubes, four contain cord rock samples, one has a sample of Martian atmosphere, and one has witness material. To help the mission team members spot any contaminating compounds that Perseverance may have brought from Earth. For the first two months after landing, Perseverance checked out its instruments and systems and supported the initial pioneering flights of the Ingenuity helicopter. Later on, in June, the rover started its expedition to the Red Planet, and since then it has made quite some progress, like finding some organics. This was revealed by the mission team members at the fall meeting of the American Geophysical Union in New Orleans. Sherlock identified some organics in the interiors of some rocks that Perseverance abraded with the help of its drill. It also identified them in the dust on top of some non-abraded rocks. Luther Beagle of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Southern California gave a statement saying, Curiosity also discovered organics at its landing site within Gale Crater. Beagle was referring to NASA's Curiosity rover, which has been exploring Gale. Gale is about 96 miles wide, 154 kilometers, and Curiosity has been exploring it ever since August 2012. Beagle then added, what Sherlock adds to the story is its capability to map the spatial distribution of organics inside rocks and relate those organics to minerals found there. This helps us understand the environment in which the organics form. As much as the word organic hints toward life, let me disappoint you by saying this is not the case at all. The organics that were found are in no way evidence of life. Organics can be produced by both biological and non-biological means, so to find out whether these organics were produced by biological or non-biological means, more work would be needed to be done to figure this out. Perseverance will not be doing all the work by itself. The rover is collecting samples that will be hauled to Earth by a joint NASA-European Space Agency campaign. This will most likely happen as early as 2031. Luther Beagle said, this is a question that may not be solved until the samples are returned to Earth. But the preservation of organics is very exciting. When these samples are returned to Earth, they will be a source of scientific inquiry and discovery for many years. Beagle is in charge of scanning habitable environments with Rama and luminescence for organics and chemicals, Sherlock, on Perseverance. Perseverance still continues on its expedition to Mars, however, there is currently no circumstantial evidence that there is life on Mars. But even with this, NASA is still working to find this out. Do you think that they will eventually find evidence of life on Mars? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.